voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Whoever thought that I'd end up making a video response to a... From the girl from El Chavo. You obviously do not know who El Chavo is. Um, well, it's a it's just a it's a Spanish show that I sometimes watch. It's still on the air, you know. You can uh, look up uh, Uni Uni Univision, and then you know it's somewhere around three to six p.m. Um, Eastern time. And, uh, boy. You know, this is actually very, very strange. Did you know the actor from El Chavo died? Yeah, I'm just wasting time. You know what? I'll speak more about El Chavo in possibly in a future video. So let's just get this shit over with, shall um, reverse racism, the basic definition of this term is the belief that you can be racist against white people. More specifically, people of color can be racist against white people. And the reason why that isn't real is because racism is a structure in society. It's systematic. Let's see. Racism. No. A belief or doctrine that inherits different among differences among the various human races determine cultural or individual achievement, usually involving the idea that one's own race is superior and has the right to rule others. A policy, system of government, etc., based upon fostering such a doctrine, discrimination, hatred, or intolerance of another race or other races. Reverse racism. It's basically a hatred of white people, right? It exists. It doesn't just exist in America. We're talking about worldwide. You know, I, I know a, a few people in Hawaii that are, in fact, completely racist towards white people. Because, according to one person, um, Hawaii used to be her its own nation until America decides to take it. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I got from one Hawaiian on Gaia Online. It's a systematic form of oppression. It is not something that one person can just be. It's, it has to do with an entire group of people that have the most position, that have, like, the most positions of power in society. Nothing in the dictionary has ever said anything about, in order to be racist, you have to be a part of an oppressive group. Racism is racism. You know, it's, it's kind of strange that you feminists will love to Bible thumb, and yes, I said Bible thumb, the fucking dictionary, like you fucking, you know, just enjoy it. You know, you enjoy certain words, such as feminism. You, you feminists bring this shit all the fucking time on how feminism means equality, and the dictionary says so. Despite the fact that in order to even be a feminist, you have to believe in this fucking patriarchy. Yeah, and you have to follow certain guidelines in order to be a feminist. And if you're not feminist enough, then you're an anti-feminist. Or a bigot. You know? But, you know, hell... You can't just be simply racist. There's a special requirement in order to be racist. But to be a feminist, all you gotta do is just say, I believe in equality. And there you go. This is the dumbest hypocritical bullshit I have ever seen. And I know you're a fucking feminist. I've seen your videos. Okay? You even have a video that says, How feminism changed my life. Fan-fucking-tastic. It's not just one person can be, you know, racist. There's just a bunch of racists, and that's what makes racism. Um, and, you know, 
obviously white people aren't oppressed based on their race. The reason why this is, and something that a lot of us white people fail to realize, is that the world is on our side. <laughs> why can't you just fucking realize that? Um, the whole world is on our side? That's a pretty big leap there, pal. We're not the ones being... We're not the victims. Us white people are not the victims. We are not the ones being murdered on the street for no reason by cops that are supposed to be enforcing justice. Are you fucking shitting me? I, I, uh, there's gonna be a few cops out there who's gonna kill some black guys. But there's gonna be also a few cops who's gonna kill um, a few white guys. Just because you see a, a white cop kill a black kid doesn't make it racist. Okay? Stop pulling up the fucking racist card every fucking time that something happens to a black guy or an Asian guy or anyone that's not white whatsoever. Okay? Hell, there are American journalists who, who were executed in Syria or is it Islam? Whatever. And you're not blinking an eye about that shit. But if, if something happens to a black guy, holy fucking shit, you have to go ape shit. Um, we're not the ones getting stopped and frisked. We're not the ones being stereotyped. Um, holy fuck is this wrong? We're not the ones that were enslaved. We're not the ones that are being harmed day to day because of our race. And that's pretty much all the things that make racism, and we don't, we're not affected by it. Yes, because in order to be a racist, you have to be an oppressive group. Brilliant. We, in fact, actually are um, benefited by racism because we don't have to deal with those things. <laughs> like, we're, you know, the mirror isn't turned on us. We're the, I mean, the finger isn't pointed at us because... We live in a white supremacist society, so it's obviously on our side. Ah, uh, typical feminist bullshit. Apparently, you're not satisfied until everything is fucking equal. You know, if there's too little black people, then it's racist. If it's not enough women in a certain area, then it's sexist. I mean, what's wrong with you people? Why does everything have to be 50 fucking 50 to you? Racism, sexism, and homophobia, along with a possible uprising of heterophobia, is always going to fucking exist. Because this is not something that's a part of a, you know, special government program. No, it is just a simple hatred of a certain fucking group. What's with the, you know, you have to be a white cisgender male in order to be hateful towards women, in order to be racist towards black people, Asians. Um, you have to be straight in order to, uh, to hate gay people or bisexuals. What is with this bullshit? Um, and, you know, that's something that a lot of people fail to realize you can't be racist towards white people because we are the ones in the most position of power. Holy fuck is this wrong? Um, so something that a lot of people get confused with racism is like, for example, a black person making you feel uncomfortable or like bullied or something or like a black person making fun of you. Um, I was actually, I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. Um, I was pretty much the only white person in my school from elementary school to high school. And I still live in a predominantly black neighborhood. And I was bullied because I stuck out like a fucking sore thumb. <laughs> like, and so people pretty much um, pointed toward me and was like, okay, I'm gonna mess with this little white girl. And I grew up thinking like, what the fuck, this sucks. And 
I still to this day know better than to think that that was me experiencing racism because you can't be racist towards white people. Holy fuck is this wrong? Woman, you just went full Macintosh. Congratulations, you fucking retard. That was just a person's experience that doesn't mean that it was my entire race's experience. Uh you might as well just be saying that it's okay to be hateful towards white people because they haven't been oppressed. Yeah, nah, -uh, no, no. What about other groups of people that haven't been necessarily been oppressed? Huh? What about the Japanese, the Chinese, the Italians, the French, the Russians? You know, us Americans, white folks, can hate, be racist towards these people. And, and, and yet, you cannot be racist towards white people. Are you fucking serious? Um, and just because it sucked for me doesn't mean that that was racism that I experienced. That was just like, I wouldn't even go as far to call it prejudice. Like, I guess, I don't, I don't know what I would call it. I guess it was just unlucky. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. But, yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> and it wasn't racism. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize. I mean, a lot of white people fail to realize that um, you just being victimized by a black person isn't, that's not what racism is. But a, bl a white cop shooting a black kid is automatically racism. No exceptions. You know, pretty much anything that a white person does towards any group of people, regardless on race, uh, gender, or uh, sexuality, they're always going to bring up this shit. Okay? The only time you can't pull out the racist cards if it's a white man killing another white man or a black man killing another black man. Yeah, you won't pull out the racism card, but as soon as a white person does something, then holy fucking shit, it's racism! And that's not the way racism works. Um, because you're not the one being killed or, you know, you, you know what I mean, like, we're lucky in that sense, like, our uncomfortableness isn't, does not compare to the years of suffrage that people of color have endured, basically. Then why should it start then, huh? Are you really that okay that white people are being killed? Are you really that okay? Yeah, you are a racist bitch. You're a racist towards white people. There, I said it. You're racist. Um, so, we just need to stop victimizing ourselves. Um, you fucking feminists do it all the fucking time. I doubt you're going to stop victimizing yourself. Another thing is, crap, I'm like getting off subject in my head. My whole head is jam like jammed with thinkingness. Um, <clears throat> where was I? So, yeah. Um, white people, you can't be racist towards white people. There's just no way you can because racism is a systematic thing, and. There's no way that just one black person being mean to you, that makes them, that doesn't make them racist towards you. And you can't, like, a black person can be racist toward other races that aren't white people because you can be racist towards people of color. I met some pretty stupid YouTubers on my time. Although she isn't the dumbest, she's pretty darn close. Holy shit, this is just an endurance round on how much I can take her freaking stupidity. It's, in, it's incredible. Somebody, help me. Because they're the, you know, 
the people that can experience racism. White people cannot experience racism. Just know that, that understand that. And uh, my dad is a good example of somebody who thinks that racism against white people exists because he grew up in the same neighborhood as me. He, this is actually his house that he grew up in, the house that I live in. And um, he was the only white kid in his school. He went to the same schools as me and everything. And he was bullied just like how I was. But he's, like, he pretty much thinks that that was, what he experienced was racism, and it it wasn't. So now he has this whole grudge thing against black people, and it's fucking gross, because I have to sit here and witness it, and, like, listen to him being racist all the time, and every time I try to call him out on it, he just tells me to shut up, because I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. But if some black guy was to hate all white people, then it's completely fine, right? Right? Is that what you're saying? You racist bastard. But, you know, some people, it's just a lost cause, I guess. But, um, for white people, the best thing you can do when you're experiencing a situation where another white person is being ignorant, you need to call them out and try to educate them. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm calling you out for your racism towards white folks. And if they don't listen, then they're just fucking part of the problem, and hopefully, eventually, they start to understand why they are a part of the problem and why they are wrong. You know, all you can do is hope in that situation if they just don't listen and if they're not, you know, if they don't want to understand anything. But, um, which is usually what's going to happen, because it takes a lot for white people for us white people to realize our mistakes. Ironically, the feminists never take their own advice. And realize the fact that we are we need to be held accountable for our the things that we do. And not a lot of white people are gonna think that way because it doesn't fucking cross our minds until, you know, I don't know when it happens, when it crosses our minds, but it just, I became aware of it because of Tumblr and uh, reading about uh, social justice and all that stuff. I fucking knew it. The social justice warriors are behind this shit. I fucking knew it. They poison everything in sight. So this YouTuber's name is Yucky and Smelly. Well, I just proved that this YouTuber is basically a sexist, racist moron. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how she did it, but she is a racist, sexist moron. I might make a part two. Maybe. Maybe. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.